Hello there, everyone. This is Quiversy, and welcome back to more Super Mario Sunshine. Last time we finished off what was left of Gelato Beach, and now time to move on to our next world. I thought about it a bit, and I decided I want to go to the other beach, the best stage in the game. I want to go back to Sirena Beach. Let's go. So we've fought a manta ray and we fought, uh, we went into a ghost secret and now we're just going into mysterious Hotel Delfino. Not a lot to go on with that, huh? Well, this is definitely one of the, another, one of my favorite missions for sure. If it's the one I think it is and I'm willing to bet it is just cause the name is ringing bells. Ah, oh, dear Mario, please come right in. Do I sense some reluctance? Uh, come now, don't dawdle. Yeah, reluctance, because last time we were here, it was swimming with ghosts. Anyways, ghosts are gone, which means we actually have access to um, the stairs and all that stuff around here. And there's also a Yoshi. He wants a pineapple. But um, if you go over here, you'll notice there's a nice array of fruits. No pineapple. <laughs> yes, sir. We can meet all of your fruit needs. What'll it be? Uh, pineapple? No, oh, uh, that's odd. I had some this morning. Yes. Unlike most other Yoshis, this Yoshi in particular always needs pineapple. And it's because he is extremely important for what we're doing. I... I don't know why I can see those red boos. I mean, obviously, I'm not going to be able to get them from here, but... Okay. Uh, before I actually start going full on with the main mission proper, I'm just going to explore around the hotel a bit. Hmm. Press B up to these doors. Mario will try to open them. Most hmm. of them can't be opened. But I know there's at least a couple that can be, and I want to basically just poke hmm. around to see if there's any... Uh, any blue coins I can get. Hmm. I do remember that there's a few hmm. hidden around. Although I don't think, now that I'm doing this, I don't hmm. think any of these random rooms uh, can be opened from the outside. Let's just try them all anyway. Luckily, this place isn't too big, and yeah, the Boo statue in that center totem uh, totem pole is gone now. Hello, Mr. Ghost. You thought I didn't see you, but I did. Yeah, there are still Boos in the in the hotel. They're still here. They're just not as prominent. Uh, there is a Shine Sprite in there, and as you can see, even though that there is very clearly an opening here, we actually can't go there. At least not that way. This room is open, and there's some Noki. Uh, uh, yeah, right. Um, kid? Oh, hi there. My door's open, and there's nothing to be suspicious of. How about a game of jacks? <laughs> nothing to be suspicious of, he says. Well, he's lying. First of all, I think I might spray... Is that having to spray the toilets? I thought something happened if you sprayed the toilets. Anyways, if you jump on the bed, you can actually go up here. Into the rafters of this place. <laughs> All these ghosts are causing such trouble. They're everywhere. Why can't someone come along and suck them up with a vacuum? What? Why are you looking at me like that? Sir, that is, that is Luigi's job. We don't have a vacuum. We have a water pack. But indeed, there are ghosts up here. And these ghosts are different than the normal booze, because they're big and sleepy. They're basically walls. Like, we can't spray them, we can't go past them, and we can't get rid of them. There's nothing we can do about those booze just yet. That being said, there's also still some normal booze, and we can't really do much about them in here either, if only because, well, because um, there's not much jump height. There is, however, a blue coin. So I was right to start poking around. 
there really isn't too much else we can do up here for the moment. Which begs the question, what is it that we're actually supposed to do? Well, uh, I'm gonna have to get back out of here first before we can really answer that question, but let's see. Ah! There is one other way we can get out of here, though. Like, we went in through, you know, jumping on the bed, but you'll notice that this panel here on the floor is cracked. Smash it, and we're back outside. Now, if I remember correctly, what we need to do is get out of the water first and foremost, and what do you have to say, mister? I lost it when I heard this was a four-star resort. I mean, come on! Water damage in the restrooms, that's solo class. Water damage, you say? Indeed. You'll notice there's some water dripping from the wall here. You jump up, and suddenly we are up a floor and in a jacuzzi. I swear that there, there, I have this very distinct memories of watering the toilets and getting coins for it. Hello, ma'am. I get a really creepy vibe from this weird painting, but you wanna know what I find even creepier than that? Imagining how you got in here! I came from the jacuzzi in the bathroom, don't worry about it. So yeah, she gets a little creeped out by this lovely painting of a, s a sailboat at sunset. But we could also jump up here, and I want to do that first. Ah, it leads, leads in here. So yeah, this is the other side of that door up on top that leads towards the pool. Hello, sir. Hey you, no one in the pool without proper swimwear. Wow, rude. Also, that pool is shallow. That's like, that'll barely come up to Mario's waist, let alone the Piantas. It's like a kiddie pool. Like, seriously, dudes. Like if it was supposed to be like a, t a hot tub or something, that'd be one thing, but that is not a swimming pool. Hey, that sparkle, could it be a shine sprite? Indeed it can. Uh, can I go back down the way I came? I don't think so, and I don't even remember exactly which floor tile I came from. So, yeah, this is basically the gimmick of this stage, is you have to go through the hotel. One sec. I swear, I can't get through one recording session without my phone interrupting me. Where was I? Ah, yes, the gimmick of, of this stage in particular is basically that you need to navigate the hotel through hidden pathways. And... Like, she was talking about this painting. Well, it isn't just a painting of a sailboat at sunset. If you look at the shape of it, and give it a spray, it's a boo! Ghost painting! And yeah, Mario jumps through and ends up on the mirror of some Noki kid's room. Suddenly, a ghost came out of the closet! It's right here, I'll kill it! And more ghosts. Get rid of them. Oh, geez, I remember this. This one's annoying. Yeah. Okay, well, I didn't mean to hit that there, but yeah. You gotta spray the closet to t walls to turn it around. And just watch this. That was a lot less violent than I thought it was gonna be. There. Look at that. It doesn't take much to make them spin, and it's kind of random where it's going to end up landing. It always will stop it, either front or back. So we got two of them flipped. Oh, boy. And now comes the fun part. I need to hope I hit this and don't hit one of the neighbors. Ah! I hit both of the neighbors! Okay. Okay, when it's an edge piece, it's easy. There! Okay. Once they all turn into a boo... The door opens. And here's those red boos we saw from down below. Hello, madam, you seem to be running into circles. Do something about these ghosts! And get out of my room, you weirdo! I mean, number one, that's, that's, that's a fair statement if we're in your room. Number two, why is your room in the closet of this room? And number three, why is your room just a jacuzzi? I believe these are all very valid questions. 
Either way, spray the red boost to turn them into platforms, and we can jump up here! Whew, okay. So now we're in yet another room, on the third floor this time. Wait a minute, where did you come from? I'm calling for help! Did you not see me literally come out of the floor? Either way, nothing too explicit in this room in terms of what you're supposed to do, except there is this little thing on the wall. Spray it. And now we're in yet another room. Ah, I believe this room has two options. Now, where did I put that thing? Hey, have you seen a pineapple anywhere around here? Indeed, our objective this whole time is pineapple. So we got these posters on the wall. One of them has some boo graffiti. Bunch of random bits of furniture just kind of strode about. And a lit platform that, as you can see, we could theoretically go through. But I think if we spray this poster, yes, it opens a path. And that leads to a blue coin. That appears to be all that's here. Which means that down is where we actually want to go. So I'm just gonna ground pound. And now we're in a storage room of sorts. A storage room with pineapple. We now have acquired pineapple. But, I, for some reason, thought we couldn't open that door whilst holding pineapple. I am glad to be incorrect. I thought that you had to go back up uh, the way you came. Either way, once you get pineapple, you get Yoshi. This has been the objective the whole time. Of course, Yoshi has to eat all the fruit, and I'm just going to make him purple because I can. So now we actually need to go back up into the rafters now that we have Yoshi, but I actually want to follow this path and go back where we came from because there's something else we can do with Yoshi. So let's go through the closet. Spray the booze. Come on, get on that. Oh my lord. The angle is making that so annoying. We spray that. And down. So yeah, we got that. I was trying to get the smaller boo, but yeah, you can eat the big boos with Yoshi. And you come in here to get a coin. A coin of blueness. Oh, that's why I thought you couldn't get the pineapples out of here. It isn't the pineapples, it's Yoshi. If you take Yoshi down here, you can't get out unless you go back the way you came. That's easier said than done. Which is why I just did it. I think I can get Yoshi up there, too. So let's give it a try. What? I wasn't ground pounding. I don't know why that happened. There we go. Oh, wow. It was through a broken tile. That's interesting. Either way, that's a nice uh, little shortcut that comes with a bonus blue coin. Ah. Speaking of blue coins. Looks like a blue coin, doesn't it? It was a ghost. Yeah, just like the how you if you see a still yellow coin, there's um uh what you call it? There's there's just a ghost there. Same goes for the blue coins, although unlike with the yellow coins, they don't give blue coins to represent what they're faking, they just give you a yellow coin. Which is annoying. But yeah, now with Yoshi, we can fully explore this place. Including going over here, where we couldn't go before. Uh, before I do go there, though, I want to make sure I'm not missing any coins, any, any blue coins, because I feel like I could be. So let's just navigate. Make sure there's nothing uh, behind where these big boos are. Come on, eat the sleepies. Eat the sleepies. There we go. Yeah, as long as all the big boos are eaten, it doesn't matter even if we do end up losing Yosh. I think this is just meant to be a maze, though. I don't actually think there's any blue coins missing now that I've gone all around, like, twice. Okay, yeah, no. We're definitely good. So let's go back to that one path. Because, as you can see, there's a lot of rooms with, like, a broken panel in them. But this is the only one that you could not get to without Yoshi. And if we break this floor panel, 
We discover we went in the wrong room. Let's see if I, I want to see if I can just. There we go. Okay, so I had the wrong room apparently. I, I guess there's another one that I could only get to with Yosh. Maybe it's the one on this side I was thinking of. Yeah, it was that one because there's ah, this way. There was a big boo in this in this hall. Or wait, no, this is where we came from, right? This is where we came from. Or am I crazy? I'm crazy. That's what we needed. Now we can get ourself a shine. Oh, and because Yoshi ran out of juice, he's green. <laughs> that's actually, I, I, that's kind of surprising, actually. Because yeah, like when Yoshi starts running out, of, runs out of juice and he starts disappearing, he flashes green, and I guess he stays green for that part. That's kind of neat. All right. Well. That mission's pretty simple, but I do love it. Just the idea behind it. It's so much fun. Ah, and now we get to our uh, our first secret, or our second secret mission of Sirena Beach, excuse me. The secret of Casino Delfino. Oh geez, I just remembered part of what this mission involves and I am, I'm not happy. If I remember right, the secret is actually pretty good, but getting to it is, oh. I guess we'll find out, huh? Hello, Mr. Man. Well now, Mario, you should really drop by the casino. I'll let my boys know you're coming. Go on now. Yup, Hotel Delfino has a casino. And in this stage, we can access it. You get there by talking to this purple man over here. If we talked to him in the last mission, he would have basically told us the casino was off limits. <laughs> oh, Mario, right this way, please. Welcome to Casino Delfino. <laughs> Settle in and make yourself at home, okay? Enjoy yourself. I will try. Unlike this poor dude. The game's a rigged! Where's the manager? I want my coins back! Rigged, huh? What about you, sir? <laughs> this is the first time I've ever seen water-powered slots. Water-powered slots. Yep. Welcome to Slot Machines, the mission. So this one's interesting because you just hit the slot with water. And it's like, yeah, just one by one, you can hit them to make it uh, spin. So this mission gives you the ability to generate infinite coins by using the slots. Like if I can get one of these to, oh. No, I wanted to keep that on the... Wait, it isn't giving us anything. I could have sworn you could have gotten something by lining up the coins. That's weird. Either way, the objective is to line up on sevens, and as you can see, it's a little on the random side. Kind of like dealing with the thing, uh, the closet in the last mission. Generally better to get the center first. And to do like little light taps if you want it to just spin a little bit. There. Sevens! We got ourselves a nice little fanfare, but nothing else happens. There's also this giant roulette wheel in the center of the room. Can't really do much with it. You seem happy. <laughs> All right, I'm ready to put it on this big roulette wheel. Uh, so when does it start spinning? Don't worry about it. Anyways, this slot over here operates a little differently than the one we just dealt with. It's an actual slot. Okay, and this one actually pays out. I guess that's why I was a little confused. Which basically implies that the other slot machine's broken. And of course, if it doesn't line up, you don't get anything. The problem with this one is it is entirely random. So while you can technically get endless coins from it, you know, you are still at the mercy of RNG. And you can't even like force it to respin while it's spinning. 
Uh, I'm just gonna stand here. As long as it doesn't spin on ghosts, then it's not a problem. And yeah, getting ghosts is not good. We are getting coins, though! So many coins! Okay, it's seriously landing on one coin every time. Uh oh Ghost! Ghost spawn ghost. And ghost not give money. Maybe where I spray has a choice on it, or maybe I'm just really unlucky. Oh, seven? Seven, seven! Okay. Once you get seven, seven, seven on both, you unlock this. The slot machines weren't the thing I was saying I remembered and hated. It was this thing. This literally is that same closet puzzle, but in 4x4 four four form. Yeah! Look at this! We need to turn all of these panels onto Shine Sprite form. And they don't lock. So like that one in the middle right there, I have to do that, and oh my lord, I got super lucky there. <sighs> but then, of course, when you get little droplets that just fall when you're trying to get one of the top ones, that happens sometimes. So, generally, it's a good idea to try and really put a focus on the upper ones first. Okay, they're all now on the one side. I'm getting really lucky right now. This normally is way harder than it seems to be right now. How did I get all those to turn? It just... But yes! I kid you not, I have had that thing take upwards of 10 minutes sometimes because the tiles just keep spinning. <sighs> and of course, now I have to do the secret. And it's a secret, Shine! So we're gonna be coming back here and I'm gonna have to do that again. <sighs> Anyways, this secret, I do like this secret a lot. It's. As you can see, very themed after these colorful spinny cubes. And very lovely wooden platforms with colorful corners. Uh, oh, oh no, oh no, oh no! Um, I got pancaked. I forgot that they pancaked. Okay, well, uh, gotta be careful, Van. Uh oh, wait for it. Jump! Okay. So yeah, this part's actually really easy. I just, I just did a dumb. What I want to do is wait, wait for those three to converge, and now I jump across. Get the one up with a backflip, and head over this way. So here we're gonna have to jump on another spinning cube, but this one is actually spinning in a way that matters. Gotta be careful. All right, now we gotta just walk along as it rotates, and there! Okay, now we are on these wooden pegs! <laughs> I was spamming the jump button when he grabbed the ledge there. Or, or the wall, rather. <sighs> Much as I do genuinely like this secret, it is a little rough. Okay. At least we have an easy enough to get one up. This one just requires a lot of patience. And I'm not exactly sure what happened with that uh, wooden peg. That. Okay, gotta wait for the cube. And you can get a good look at those wooden pegs from here. They're just moving side to side, occasionally creating gaps. It's honestly not that bad. Okay, wait for it. Jump! 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 And now onto the spinning wooden tower. I am not gonna try and get that, that, that mushroom. And now the giant cube that spins. This, oh man, uh, this, there we go, okay. It only spins twice, well, it, it spins more than twice, but only you only have to go through two spins before you get your shine. And now, I gotta go back in here again. Okay. 
made it back here and it was relatively painless again. I don't know, it's weird. The panel puzzle is still just as erratic as I remember, but it's also a bit kinder than I remember. Anyways, eight red coins, so let's go. First one is right there. Second one is in the air. And I can see more up ahead. I was really hoping I could have gotten that coin where I was. Ha! Got it without flooding. Uh, next one is this way. And yeah, with flood, we could actually get on top of these cubes. Get the cube, get the coin, no! Crap. That's gonna be bad. Okay, we got that coin. Hey, gotta get... Yeah! Woo! Uh -huh. That... Whatever nonsense I just pulled there should not have worked. Six. Seven. I'm not gonna get it! Missing that one coin. Dang it. Yeah, this one's a little rough, isn't it? Go! Okay, one. And dead. Um, okay, you know what? Let's be a little smart with this. I'm gonna wait. Watch those cubes. Now! Go. Perfect. Now they were timed a little better so I could actually get a little bit of a sequence skip there. We get that one without any hesitation. Move on. Just be confident, but don't be stupid. That was almost stupid what I just did there. All right, we're up to five. That was not high enough, but that was. Gonna get that. Okay, we're back where we were. When we had only one second left. We're, we've got plenty of time. Let's get that coin. And all we gotta do now is, uh, survive. Survive the Cube of Doom. Which we did before without Flood, no problem. And I'm going to be taking full advantage of the fact that I have Flood to skip one of the rotations. <laughs> and with that, Shine! We are done with the Secret Shine sprites of Hotel Delfino. And I think next time on Super Mario Sunshine, we're gonna see if we can finish most if not all of what remains of Sirena Beach as a whole. If memory serves, most of the remaining Shine sprites are pretty easy, although I admittedly don't remember at all what one of them is off the top of my head. Hm, I guess we'll find out. Until then, thanks so much for watching. Goodbye. <laughs> Thank you.